Hey, welcome back. I got something here today and I did end up deciding to cut open the box because it was very well taped. Um, so I did that off camera today, but I have not yet looked inside here. And if you're starting to get familiar with these smooth precision pen boxes, the number two means it is a short or a mini. And this pattern, whoo, yeah, one I have not done yet. No pattern really at all. But what it is, is it's a full Zerk polished. And that is um, <laughs> very impressive, I have to say. Like this, I wasn't quite sure what to expect paying all the extra money for Zerk. You know, these cost more than two times as much as the titanium variants. But man, that feels good. And it feels extremely smooth, probably because it's polished. So I have a lot of these variants coming in. I've been on a search this week and found a lot of great sources for them after really struggling to find them actually for a few months. I uh, got into a couple of the right groups and started asking the right questions and connected with some of the right people. And now we got pens coming. And man, that one, I am kind of blown away with the Zerk polished variant here. This is really nice. Um, so I think this pattern with the five ring probably went for around 300 new. Um, hard to say since I wasn't able to get these new anymore. But I can now understand why some people went for it. Like, it is pretty damn impressive. And to compare, I'll throw out uh, more of a standard finish here. Still nice, don't get me wrong. But, man, that is definitely on a little bit of another level. There's a nice little milled titanium variant. Ooh, that is a beauty. Wow. I don't know if it's the just the polished finish or if it's the Zerk or the combo, but that is feeling awesome. Very smooth in hand, glassy. Like I said, the action is actually quite a bit smoother than the standard stone wash. The stone wash is also very nice. Don't get me wrong, but this is on another level. Wow, I'm really glad I caught, I almost didn't buy this, just kind of thinking like, do I really want it? And I, I do have um, uh, a couple contacts that have some of these. If you're willing to spend the big bucks, there's even a guy that has a uh, <clears throat> dragon scale Zerk for about 325. I think it's a full size. Um, so if you're dying for a Zerk dragon scale, um, let me know and I can try and connect you with him. But yeah, just right away, same box, by the way. Um, but right away, really uh, feeling what I'm seeing here. Um, the impressive thing, and, and this isn't the case on all of them, is that everything appears to be Zerk here. So let me see if I can find my copper one or your brass what I have here. Copper. And uh, what I'll point out here is that on these, he, you know, the pocket clip would be too soft. So he has tie inside here and there. So you do have quite a bit of it is copper, but these parts aren't. And I think that does kind of take away a little bit from the look. Whereas this being, zoom out just a little bit here fully Zerk, it really uh, kind of does this on another level, being Zerk inside there and everything, and on the pocket clip. That is just really sweet. Um, it's a little less abrasive here, because probably the polishing, I imagine, knocks it down a little bit. Man, that's sweet. All right, glad to have added that one into the collection. I was a little hesitant on that purchase. You can see these three are minis. 
that's a full size and I've got quite a few full size coming in. You know, I had a few others. I had a few Valhalla variants and I wasn't loving that finish and actually sold a couple of them off and not really regretting it. Honestly, I just don't love this, the feel of the Valhalla in my hand. I kept one around because I do think it looks pretty cool. But um, you really just know when you find one that you like. I really like the feel of this one. It's heavier. It's kind of patinaed and custom. It's all smooth. It's very rare to get one that has no rings all smooth like that. Um, but I've got a couple really interesting ones coming in and hopefully I can bring these all together and, um, you know, share them with you and see what you think because I'm definitely uh, liking this hunt for the retired smooth precision pens. They're really fun to... Uh, to track down now that you can't get them from a store or anything. You actually can get them. A few stores do still have some hanging out in inventory, but um, mostly the old uh, Urban Survival Gear branded pens. That's most of what you can, or pencils rather, sorry, of what you can find out there. Finding the SPP pens, there's a few here and there, um, but they're not super common. So it's been a fun little journey the last few weeks pivoting from knives into something that's A, a little less expensive, and B, actually kind of a little easier for me to talk about with my friends and family. Like, <laughs> it's a fun thing to collect. I would consider doing watches. I was just talking with some friends about this, including Craig over at Brown's Knives. I don't really like wearing watches, and they're very expensive, so it's like, do I really want to collect them just for the sake of collecting? Eh, kind of, but not really, uh, especially given you can get 5% interest on your money in the bank right now. I'd rather have something that I actually really enjoy and would use a little bit, you know, handle a little bit. This is, this is beautiful. This is just a really nice demonstration of what can be done with really good CNC work and hand finishing. So um, I'm impressed. I'm uh, very pleased with this one and I uh, hope you enjoyed this one as well. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe. And uh, reach out, comment if you have any questions or whatever on these, and <clears throat> I'll see you on the next one. Take care.